The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Healthcare. Improve service quality in the public healthcare system and develop national capabilities at a reasonable cost. Kuwait has a distinct position within the field of motorsport in the region. In addition to the love of the Kuwaiti people for motorsport and the high and rooted culture that it enjoys in this field. Kuwait is building a world-class motor town which will feature seven racing circuits that would enable the country to host Formula One and motor races in the future. The integrated city of motorsports consists of a complex with a racetrack capable of hosting all kinds of international races, cars, motorcycles and an academic centre. The project includes the construction of a pit building, a media centre, a hotel and the shopping mall in Arifjan, south of Kuwait City in Kuwait. Motor Town will position itself as a new destination with a unique FIA Grade 1 circuit as the nucleus of the state-of-the-art facility with a fully integrated portfolio of entertainment assets that will attract a wide spectrum of people. The integrated city of motorsports which carried out by the Amiri Diwan consists of a complex with a racetrack capable of hosting all types of world races with an area of 2.6 million square meters. The project is located south of the city in Arafjan, adjacent to the Wafra Road. The project of designing and building motor town in Kuwait is estimated at 49 million Kuwaiti dinars. Motor town has been designed by Germany's Tilk, which hold credit for a number of popular F1 tracks, including Yas Marina in Abu Dhabi, UAE. The Kuwait Motor Town Racing Circuit has opened officially in the area of Arafjan on the 20th of March 2018 and the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah, patronized the opening ceremony. Kuwait Motor Town will be a world-class race tracking that will feature seven racing circuits. The project is being handled by the Emiri Diwan who are behind projects like Shahib Park and the new Cultural Center. And here are some of the reviews. Talal said an excellent place to experience driving with races and perhaps with the cold weather. And Mubarak Dosari said good place and there is a restaurant that offers wonderful food and a lovely place for children to ride cars. And Badri Rumi said, wonderful and fun place for kids and adults, recommended to visit it to enjoy the driving experience. And from Ahmed Al Haddad account, after a long wait, the Dream Project Kuwait International Circuit. And from Rest account, the National Assembly recommends the establishment of a race car circuit for young people to practice their hobbies in accordance with the international rules and regulations. From New Kuwait account, Kuwait in 2035 among top 35 countries in the world. Future to be with you. The Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Science sponsored the Kuwait Conference for Sustainable Building and Green Living. The conference was launched at the Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Culture Center to discuss the latest strategies and plans for building with strong and at the same time eco-friendly building. In fact, uh, the concept of green buildings is, is, uh, didn't come from uh, uh, nowhere. Uh, it is. Uh, a concept that uh, we used to uh, apply before uh, the oil era uh, where, where our buildings was no warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Uh, air circulation was uh, made naturally. Uh, the walls made from uh, clay bricks. 
but unfortunately with the modern uh, expansion of the city we start using the black uh, bricks and uh, our houses became sink of energy water natural resources our consumption became more than uh, our production uh, which is very unsustainable uh, approach uh, if we need to expand and sustain the development uh, within modern Kuwait. Uh, for that reason, um, the uh, Green Building Council came up with this uh, initiative and we at uh, Kuwait Foundation for Advancement of Science supported uh, the initiative to run this conference and uh, make the public awareness about the concept of new smart uh, cities or even smart houses uh, in order to maintain and control uh, the amount of waste that we are producing every uh, day from our uh, own consumption. Here at the Kuwait Green Building Council we welcome you for our first conference here in Kuwait. Uh, the purpose of the conference is to raise awareness of energy and saving energy uh, at particularly the individual level at the home level and hopefully we can raise this awareness throughout the community and get engaged with the public and private sector to achieving more uh, energy savings uh, in our country. Kuwait currently only has six sustainable and eco-friendly buildings and the aim is to increase the number if its cost doesn't succeed and the current cost of our modern building.